Hey guys, so today I wanted to try out a new accent. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but mainly I was inspired by the Wonder Woman trailer that I saw a couple days ago and in the trailer Wonder Woman is from I'm actually not sure where she's from exactly but her accent is somewhat European maybe some people will say exotic I don't know um, but I th haven't seen many ASMR videos really doing kind of a made up accent maybe <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure where I am supposed to be from in this video but maybe you'll hear a little Spanish accent maybe a little French maybe a little British still and probably a little American um, and I just want to have fun because ASMR for me is fun and relaxing and you guys know I love accents and I love any type of accent video so um, hopefully this will be very relaxing for some of you and I'm not doing this to offend anyone um, because I'm not even sure if anyone has this accent I just want to have fun and try something new so today is going to be my bag collection and I don't actually have that many bags because I am not really a bag type of girl I prefer to purchase clothing or jewelry maybe but not really bags and shoes uh, like you saw in my shoe collection video I really only have black and brown shoes and many I've had for many years same goes for bags I have a set number and I don't really like to just go shop for bags because um, I don't really find it necessary and I would never spend more than a hundred dollars maybe two hundred dollars for a bag um, I do have a couple leather bags which I'll show you but they were all from discount or thrift stores so they were very inexpensive so anyways, um, the first bag I'm going to show you guys is from, well, originally is from Qu Quicksilver. Quicksilver, maybe? Um, but I bought, I bought it at uh, Burlington Coat Factory, or maybe Marshall's, one of those discount stores. And I've shown you guys before, but I wanted to, I mean, I'm still going to include it because it is one of my bags looks like this you can see the logo here I'm pretty sure it's the Quicksilver logo but they're doing like a retro throwback sort of thing with their brand right now I think so that's why it looks like that um, and it's this nice mustard yellow with navy blue at the bottom the straps are yellow and blue as well. You can see they're padded, so it's nice and comfortable when I'm when I have a heavy backpack, which is nice. And so there's two main pockets, the big one and the small one. And this is what I currently carry to class, so it, there's still some things inside, which I'll show you briefly, but in this pocket we can see there's a sort of split here and I have my toothbrush because of my Invisalign I have to brush my teeth after every meal um, a little toothpaste and this is my pill box so I have like ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, some mints what else? Uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Benadryl. They're just for easy access. 
And then, oh, I have my, oh, this is where my gloves were. I was looking for these today. Okay, so my gloves are in there as well. And that's kind of the first pocket, the small one. Sorry, the lighting's not that great, but none of my roommates are home right now, so that's why I'm doing it right now. There might be a little bit of a Chinese accent thrown in here as well. We'll see. Okay, then in the main pocket, we have a computer slot in the back. And then just the rest of the bag. So, have some paper from class this morning. And I have my pencil case, which I've done a sounds video on. And I got this case from like a local, uh, what do you call it? Like a local, uh, like a hardware store. Yeah, that's what it's called. Hardware store. Yeah, got that there. And I think that's it. There's like some receipt in here. So that's what I carry. And in the top, there is another pocket. That's basically big enough for your phone, maybe like a wallet. I usually keep my phone and earphones, maybe like a chapstick in there. And the zippers are really cute as well. I don't know if you can see that. Um, everything about this bag just reminds me of something kind of vintage maybe, something like... I don't really know what era, but just something a little more vintage and more unisex. Like, it's not very girly, but it's not super masculine either. So I like that about this bag. And um, I normally carry this uh, to class because I bike. I have a city bike account. Um, so I usually bike and backpack is just easier to bike with. But when I'm wearing maybe a more formal outfit or I don't have to bike, I will use a different purse, which I've also shown on this channel before, but I will go ahead and grab it and show you guys that bag right now. Okay, so this is the bag. And I've done a uh, what's in my bag with this bag before, I'm pretty sure. So um, maybe if I remember to, I'll link it down below. But this bag is from American Eagle Outfitters. And I got it a half off last year for Black Friday, I believe. Yes. So it's actually a reversible bag. So the inside is this brown color, as you can see, with the black stitching. Stitching there. So you can flip it inside out. And I do that in that other video. Um, so I'm not going to do it here because it's going to take very long time for me to do that um, but I really like it, it's a great size you can see compared to my torso maybe <laughs> um, this fits like my MacBook Air perfectly and uh, it will fit um, like other papers and everything else I need pretty much will fit in here so that's nice and uh, when I flip it inside out it gets bigger because the other side is like this you'll see in that other video if you go look at it um, that it gets bigger if I flip it the other way but the only thing I don't like as much about this bag is that it has um, just a magnetic closure at the top so if you're in a big city like New York um, sometimes it's maybe a little unsafe because someone could just reach in and maybe steal some stuff uh, but you know if I'm just going to class and stuff I don't really it doesn't really matter and all my important things like my wallet are kind of at the bottom of the bag anyway so you would really have to like get in there and then of course I would feel you and probably kick you <laughs> so yeah I really like this bag um, original price is like $55 maybe which you know is a little expensive for me personally but you know some people think that that's pretty cheap and it's not real leather that's probably why um, but I spent like $25 because it was half off so 
for me 25 that's a good deal for this bag um, and honestly I probably would not have purchased it if it was full price I would have waited for it to go on sale so that's the second bag that I have to show you guys okay then I have my only tote bag and this is a true kind of tote that's made out of cloth and everything and on it it says the New Yorker <laughs> as pretentious as that is right but I actually did for a year get subscriptions from the New Yorker and with that came this bag so I think it was like a promotion they had and it was cheap too because for students it was much cheaper and I really like it actually it's very versatile I use it for groceries I use it when I'm just having a very casual day um, I like to use this for beach volleyball usually you can throw all the things I need for beach volleyball in here and it's just a nice tote you know it's nicely made but it's not you know super nice so that I have to be careful with it so I like that it's kind of one of those totes that I can use for anything and uh, it's I, I like how abstract sort of the uh, the print is like you can't really tell exactly what the writing is until you look in the middle and you're like oh the New Yorker <laughs> um, but I've seen a lot of people with this tote around New York City so I think a lot of people took advantage of that deal when it was going on make some nice sounds as well okay next I have this bag that I've shown uh, when I was in Beijing because that's where I purchased it it looks like this uh, I love this bag very simple no brand on it but it is by hot wind which is a Japanese brand, I'm pretty sure. And the only place that says a brand is on the inside, and it says Hot Wind. There. And um, it's really nice. I really like this bag. I also did a whole video, but I will show you guys what's inside, like what it looks like inside. And technically, this is real leather. That's what they say, but in China, you never know, even though hot wind is like a more what do you call like like it's an actual store so when they say real leather it's probably real leather and price wise this bag was about let's see sixty dollars so actually maybe it is real leather because it's kind of a small bag so for sixty dollars it could be real leather it could be like piece leather maybe Don't you guys like that I have nails now? I can actually tap for you guys. So it just has a plain bottom like that and it has a clip so you can take this off if you want the strap and just kind of carry it like that. You can hear my roommate humming. But I like to keep it on here. And inside, what's really cool is there's this bag inside the bag, a bag within a bag, and it kind of snaps on. So if you take it out, it looks like this. And the zipper is really nice. So smooth. And then I'll show you, oops, that was kind of loud. I'll show you the inside. It's just kind of like that. So if you want to, to save more space, you can take that bag out and just have it empty and put everything in there because there's also a zipper on the outside. see. So 
so this bag is really well constructed, I think, and uh, you can tell it, there's a lot of design put into it, and I think that's typical with Japanese products. They're designed so nicely and very functional, so it's one of my favorite bags, and I use this a lot for just weekend trips, going out during, during the day. Unfortunately, it's too small to fit my laptop, but um, if I don't need my laptop for class, then usually I'll bring this, something like that. Really nice. Okay, next. These, oh, well, I, I guess that counts as a leather bag. Then these are my two other leather bags. And I'm getting a little thirsty, so. Okay, so this first bag I purchased last summer, so maybe a year and a half ago. And it looks like this. And you can see it's a Dooney and Burke bag. Dooney and Burke. And I purchased this at Macy's because I had, it was I think 50% off and extra 30% off for employees that day. So I think I got this bag for only $70. I want to say $70, less than 100 for sure. And it is leather and the inside is red. Look how pretty that is. So there's card slots here. And then there's a pocket here and it's meant to be sort of like a wallet on a chain you know or a wallet on a on a strap sort of thing inside there's also this clip for your keys so that's pretty much how i use this is when i go out i uh, usually will have my cards there and my cell phone will fit here and then i usually have like a lip balm maybe my phone charger and like some mints or my pill bag um, and these will fit in there as well. So what's great about this leather is that over time it will stretch just a little or it gets softer with time. So when I first purchased it, I could not put much in here. But now that I've had it for about a year and a half, I can put a lot more things in here. And it really kind of stretches nicely. And the bottom looks like that. And the straps are adjustable on two sides. See, there's one down here and there's one up here. And I just love it. It's such a simple bag, but it's nice and tiny, which is what I wanted. I wanted a very small bag that I could really just carry to the club. So I really like that one. Okay, then my other leather bag is this one that I think I've also shown before because I probably showed it in a haul video. And this I got from a thrift store and it was only $10. $10, so cheap. And it is real leather because the lady who was selling it to me was telling me that uh, when she bought it, it, it was real leather, but she just never uses it. So she wants to sell it off. And I mean, you can tell by feeling it that it's real leather. Let's puck it inside. And the sirens are going crazy tonight. And then just kind of a big pocket bag like that. And this is like a fake clasp because it just like closes magnetically like that. And then it has a long strap like this. Like this. And it's very hard leather, so it's a little stiff. But I noticed that after wearing it a couple times, it has stretched out just a little bit as well, so I can fit a little bit more in here now. And normally, this is a nice day bag, so I can put my full wallet, 
my keys, uh, my toothbrush, and things like that in there, and um, be okay. So this is a great little day bag, and my camera as well. So this is kind of my new going out bag for something more casual, because this one, this black one is a little more formal to me. I think this is more like business, maybe. Whereas this is a little more casual, you know? So sometimes when I'm wearing something like this, wearing a bag like that may look a little weird. So then I like to wear a bag like this. And the back is really pretty. I think it's a nice little detail here. Okay. Then, uh, lastly, I think this is my last bag. I have this little tiny purse that I think I've also shown in a whole video because I purchased this in China. But it looks like this. Sorry about the sirens, guys. But it would not be a video by me if there weren't sirens in the background, right? So this is kind of like faux snakeskin. And it is definitely faux because I probably spent the equivalent of three dollars on this bag when I was in China and this I wanted as well for kind of a going out night bag there's just two very small slots in it. actually three slots you can see one two three and so what I keep in this really is just cards cash and maybe my phone and my phone will fit in here but that's pretty much it there's not a lot that's gonna fit in here but, like I said, it's mainly for the club, so, you know, you really just need your cards, ID, and your phone. And the strap is adjustable, of course. Nice thin strap. I'm kind of afraid that this strap is going to break, but if it does, I will just replace it with something else. We'll see. Um, so far, it's been good. I've worn it a couple of times out. But, yeah, I really like this bag um, because it's black and it's simple. It's going to match with most of my outfits because most of my going out at outfits are black so yeah I do really like this bag and it was so inexpensive I don't really care if it breaks because I'll just get a new one it's okay <laughs> so those are all my bags guys I told you I don't have a lot don't have many um, but I use them all a lot and that's why I just have a few and I'm okay with that Let me know what you think of this accent. I might have drifted towards the end I uh, don't really I was just having fun with it. So whatever um, I hope you guys enjoy maybe comment down below what you think the accent could be from um, Maybe from your home country or something like that and let me know if you want to see another video with it with this sort of accent and I would definitely do that for you guys so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video bye